These are the five best FPS mods for Forge, Fabric, and Neo Forge. There's a counterpart for each different version to my knowledge. And guess what? You get FPS totals just like that up in the top screen. All I have are these five mods downloaded. And of course, we have to adjust some settings because if you do want performance, you're probably going to adjust some settings here and there. We're going to get to those all in just a second here. Make sure to subscribe for more FPS related videos. I have more FPS mods to showcase. However, I'm going to showcase these five just for simplicity's sake. Let's get right into this video. The first mod is Sodium slash Embedium. Please listen to this note if you're a new modder. Keep in mind, Embedium is only very good for Forge. Do not use it for NeoForge or Fabric because NeoForge would probably prefer if you use Sodium as Iris, one of the shader mods, if you want to use shaders, would prefer if you use Sodium. And Fabric only has Sodium. I think Sodium is the only good one for Fabric and NeoForge because there's more mod compatibility for the mods for those different like mod loaders for minecraft with that said sodium is by far the best fps mod for minecraft um sodium and betium you know they're basically the exact same but it's just a port over to the forge and basically this mod allows you to customize your video settings so i actually have some settings here if you want to copy these and we're gonna get to the chloride in a second here but embedium they have the graphics right here the quality these are all really, really important stuff. You can use accurate quad shading. Occasionally, this might do some good things, but I have it off. Uh, but these are the settings I have here for the performance section. This one you can have as to whatever default or 16 threads or whatever high threads count. I just have it on 16 threads because that's what I think benefited my performance usually. But you can choose to have this on whatever. You can also enable fast chests and fast beds in order to have a much faster time. This is added by chloride, but we'll get to the true chloride stuff. And then this right here, CPU uh, render limit. This one, obviously, like I said before, like I have it in three frames, but you can test that out, see what works. But this is what I have, and this is what works for me. And you can tweak it around, see how your FPS total fluctuates depending on whatever settings or whatever things you tweak within the game. Now let's cover chloride. Chloride actually does add in their own little settings here and there within these things. So for example, I think, uh, yeah, so the performance, fast chats, fast beds, those are activated by uh, chloride. Yeah, to apply these settings, you have to reset your world. And chloride also offers some FPS settings of their own. So you have some FPS settings already set right here. The darkness, the particle settings, the entity settings, the zoom stuff. So there's a lot of different things within this entire mod. And it's really, really good to see that Chloride has this many options available to further enhance your FPS for Sodium as it is an add-on mod to Sodium and also Embedium. Up next, this mod is mostly for those that are running mod packs. If you wanna use these mods within a mod pack, you need to have this mod. This is called Ferret Core. Faircore is a mod that allows you to have much more better RAM optimization and usage and much more better memory usage in general for mod packs because they typically mod packs use a lot of like RAM for the mods that are you that you're playing on that you're using and this helps optimize it a lot better. And you can also use this in vanilla Minecraft if you do have a computer that has a low RAM count or if you just want a slight better FPS performance, this might give you a little bit more FPS performance as it reduces the amount of usage of the resources to Minecraft. So really good mod overall to help out your game. And the next mod that we're going to cover is Modern Fix. Now Modern Fix is actually really much more in-depth mod in the sense that it does a little bit more than just memory usage. It does a little of everything. It fixes bugs within the game. It does some slight performance tweaks here and there. And there's a whole config that shows kind of what it does. It's a really overall general performance mod, almost very similar to that of Sodium in that sense, where it's like a general performance improvements mod. And it's a really good mod overall to have alongside these other ones. And the last one is called Immediately Fast. And Immediately Fast optimizes the immediate rendering, which doesn't sound like much to a lot of people. I actually had to look up what this means. But basically, it does a lot of rendering for a lot of different objects and stuff within the game, such as entities, items, etc. And overall, a lot of stuff within Minecraft has the need for immediate rendering improvements. 
So generally this mod helps out a lot with that. And it's a very lightweight mod that is meant to be compatible with a variety of different other mods if you want to, let's say, do a mod pack. So that is essentially these five mods. I have a lot more other mods in mind that you can probably check out. However, you have to subscribe in order to see those videos because I need to make a living off of YouTube. And also it would help me a lot and help you guys out a lot by seeing more future videos that would help out your game. So thank you guys for so watching. If you liked the video, like, subscribe and subscribe and remember to be top. You'll be the boss guys. Next video, take care and good. Bye.